Hi all, I am D. Ragini from Department of Mathematics, Kailash Women's College, Angavali. Today I am going to explain about the topic is connectives. Before we enter the topic, first of all we have to know about sentence. Sentence is nothing but statement. In statement we have two types. One is atomic statement, other one is molecular statement. Atomic statement is nothing but simply a statement. For example, Raju is writing, Guru is running. This type of, we may say lot of sentences. This type of sentences is called atomic statement. Next, molecular statement. Molecular statement have only one type. We have to connect two sentences or statements using connectives. It's called molecular statement. For example, it is raining today. Is a, a statement. We have to take the statement as A. It is cold. This statement is taken as B. We have to combine these two, uh, two statements by using the word and. So the molecular statement is it is raining today and it is cold. So these are all the two types of statements. First one is atomic statement and another one is molecular statements. So shall we go to the topic? We have connectives. So let us see what is connective. The definition of connective is the words and phrases to form compound statements are called connectives. Connectives has five types. One is conjunction, disjunction, negation, conditional, biconditional. Connectives has totally five types. We say and, or, negation, if, they, if and only. These five connectives are called connectives. So first of all, next we have to see what is the declarative statements are either true or false but not both. They cannot be neither. The declarative sentences either true or false. The statements, whether a statement is true or false determines its truth value. For example, if we take the statement it is raining today. This statement is true when the truth value is true. Suppose we take the statement is in negative, it is not raining today. The truth value of the statement is false. So these are all the uh, functions take input values to unique output values. That is the input values determine the output values. For example, in truth table, we have to give the truth value t. Then only we have to get the truth value t. Okay. So next we have to see conjunction. In conjunction, we have to use the symbol is and. That means cap. We, have, we may say cap is also the connective word. The connective word is and. It is pronounced as a and d. The symbolic form is p and q. For example, here, we are, here I will give and is often a truth functional connective inserting and between two statements gives a longer statement. The truth of which is determined by the truth of the parts. I said in previous topic, uh, P is raining today and Q is it is cold. We have to combine that both sentences. We get a long sentence. So that is the symbolic form of this conjunction statement. Next we have to see the example of conjunction statement. Let us say P is the John faces. The statement is John faces. H is John is happy. Here we use the symbol as and. This symbol replaces the word A and D. So we have to combine these two statements as we get John passes and John is happy. So we write this conjunction statement as P and H. Here John passes denotes the statement as denotes the letter as P and John is happy. This statement denotes the letter as H. So we have to combine these two statements we get P and H. So next we have to see how to form a truth table for conjunction. So here we take two statements that is sentences also we may say A and B. We have to form the truth table for A and B. Here we have two statements so that's why we have four truth values only. Okay. Here, A tell, in A column, we write the truth values of true, true, false, false. And
and B column true false true false. So the uh, conjunction of A and B is whenever A and B has the truth value T, then only A and B has the truth value T. Otherwise, it has the truth value false. So this is the truth table for forming conjunction. Now let us see the second connective. Second connective is disjunction. We use the symbol R. The connective word is R. Its symbolic form is P R Q. Here, let us see the example. Either any or any left for Bermuda. L take it as any left for Bermuda. M take it as any left for Bermuda. So the translation is L R Y. So this is the disjunction. Next, the how to form a truth table for disjunction. Here also we take it as two statements A and B. The difference from conjunction and disjunction is either A and B has the truth value T, A and B has the truth value T. Otherwise, it has the truth value false. In disjunction, A and B, A has the truth value false and B has the truth value false. Then only A or B has the truth value false. Otherwise, it has the truth value true. So this is the truth table for disjunction. Next connective is negation. Simple use is negative. Okay. The connective word is not. Its symbolic form is not p. We read this as not p. Prefixing a statement with it is not the case that flips the truth value. For example, it is raining today is the statement. Its negative statement is it is not raining today. Example, Annie left but Lenny did not leave. L any left for Bermuda, M many left for Bermuda. So this is the example of negation statement. Next one is how to form a truth table for negation. If the truth value of A is true, then negation A is false. If the truth value of A is false, negation A is true. So next one, next connective is. Next I will give example of negation. Yes, John studies the negation. John does not study. So this is the example of negation. Next, so conditional connective. We use the symbol for conditional connective is if then. The connective word is if then. Its symbolic form is p then. If p statement exists only, then q will exist. So next, how to form a truth table for conditional statement? So a True, true, false, false. B, true, false, true, false. Here, the A, then if A, then B has the truth value false, then only A and B has the truth value false. So, this is the condition for forming conditional connective. Next, the last connective is biconditional. This symbol is if and only if. The connective word is also if and only if. Its symbolic form is P if and only if Q. If we say A if B and A only if B. In either we use A if and only if. It could translate that B tends to A and A tends to B. This is the biconditional statement. In this statement A and B has the same identical value. That is if A has the truth value D. If and B has the truth value D. Then only A if and only if B has the truth value T. In some terms A has the truth value false. And B has the truth value false. This is also same. That is identical truth values. Then only A if and only if B has the truth value false. Today we discussed connective topic in conjunction, disjunction, negation, conditional, biconditional. Thank you.